and the socket continues. So that's uh, temperature. You can see it just dropped a little bit, um, but they both are they both gurgling a little bit. Um, yeah. So I've taken the gravity sample. Uh, the one on the left is the IPA. The one on the right is the pail. Um, and yeah, so we'll talk about it. So then we'll have a little chatty chat. chat. What's up, dudes? Dudes and dudettes? B's and G's? Um, hey, it's Wally. No, uh, no fancy pour today. Um, Keezer's empty. But what I have here, BBCB, that's the bourbon. That's the uh, bourbon barrel coffee brown. That's my beer, so it's homebrew. Homebrew Wednesday. Yes. Too dirty ass surly glass. ton of coffee. Vanilla on the nose. It's got a lot of barrel. Alright guys, it's Tuesday night. Tomorrow's Homebrew Wednesday! Ow! 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 Wednesday! Yeah. Woo! That's um... About eight percent. So it's a good sized beer, not huge, but it's a good sized beer. Um, so I showed you guys a video of my bread beers. So the IPA it's still kind of bubbling along. I think it's I think it's about done. Um, but I checked the gravity Sunday and um, Sunday afternoon, and it was down to about ten, twelve. So. It's for the most part probably done. That's about as far down as I really wanted it to go. Um, so it drops from about 10.22 down to 10.12. Um, so I'm pretty fucking pumped. That's pretty good. Um, the um, pail, it didn't do shit for me. Um, it didn't do anything. Um, it's going now, but I'll get into that here in a second. So what happened? Um, Let's see, last week I posted that in the US05 to dry, US05 didn't do anything for me, so uh, Matt Evans um, suggested I put a small starter into it. Well, I thought about it, and I thought I could do that, um, but as I was doing some research, I found just adding in um, three ounces by weight of uh, either corn sugar or um, table sugar dissolved into water. Um, do the same thing, so it's not going to be enough sugar to cause, to, to cause like an alcohol flavor. You're basically just priming sugar, right? So, I went ahead and I did that to both. Um, so I did it to the pale and also the IPA. Um, IPA took off, and it was going. Um, I thought the pale took off. Um, maybe I was wrong, maybe it did, and it just fermented out what little bit of sugar was in the... Well, I, I did six ounces this many fingers this many fingers and this many thumbs um, of sugar by volume by weight uh, mixed in the four ounces of water so I split that between the two fermenters um, so yeah the um, IPA is going um, hoping it's going to be done here shortly and uh, the pail aggravated me so I let it sit and I was going to just dry hop it and force carve it all day, but uh, last night I said the hell with it and I dumped a pound of honey in it. So now it's starting to bubble again. So hopefully, hopefully it'll it'll kind of kick up and start going with that pound of honey. Um, it's basically it's the same thing as what you do when you're adding in um, you know, the sugar water, the priming sugar. Um, so. I think I've got it kind of figured out if uh, when I do this whole 
100% Brett fermentation again. Um, what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to ramp up my fermentation temperature probably about 85 and leave it, leave it at 85. Um, then about three days into it, um, when everything's rocking and rolling, I'll go ahead and I'll just go ahead and dump a, dump another pound of honey in each of them, or whatever I'm fermenting, whether it be one fermenter or two fermenters, but just another pound of honey just to give the yeast something easy to eat. Um, if you guys ever watch, um, there's some videos out there about how to ferment big beers, barley wines, uh, big Russian Imperials, um, triples, all that stuff. You know, that's a, that's a common practice. It's a something that's done um, regularly, is to uh, feed the yeast at a uh, high krausen. So that's what I was thinking. I should have done that, but basically, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do next time. So hopefully that I'll keep the 6:45 um, eating, keep them hungry, keep them happy. So, um, yeah, that's going to be the plan. Um, my SJ Pour beer um, is hanging out. I uh, did a taste test on it. I think it's going to be all right. Um, can't say a whole lot about it. Um, I did add some additive to it. And that'll come later. Um, you guys will figure it, we'll find that out. You guys will find that out later. But um, I think that's really about it for me um, as far as what's going on with me. There's nothing really going on. i got a mess to clean up. Um, I picked up some bottles Saturday. I'm going to um, bottle my brown that I've got. Uh, it's been sitting on um, um, Bretomyces lambicus, lambiticus for a year now. A year. Um, and probably, let's see, about a month ago or maybe six weeks ago, I dumped in a bottle of um, concentrated tart cherry juice into it. And it's pretty good pretty good so um, it's not overly bready um, but it, uh, you can definitely tell something's happened it's, it, it, there was a like a tart cherry kind of smell to it so the, the juice was I was trying to uh, accentuate the uh, smell so I need to get that uh, keg to force carb I got a bunch of kegs I need to clean I'm lazy lazy. Um, yeah, one thing is Saturday, <clears throat> I went and bought some supplies. So I got all my stuff I need, grains and whatnot, for my second round SJ beer. Um, but before that, I went to a local brewery, one of my favorite ones that you guys probably hear me talk about, a Blank Slate, right? Blank Slate? It's my, it's probably second favorite brewery here in Cincinnati. And, um, I got a couple, uh, 750 mil bottles of, um, of um, a rye saison that they do. So I got that, and I end up getting a growler of a, um, I think it's a spelt green saison. It's called the Lady Grisette. Um, it's cat's ass. My wife loves it, loves the rising up uh, rye saison. Then um, Monday morning, um, they shut the doors, closed it down, fucking packed up and left. I don't, nobody knows why, nothing, just close the doors, I've uh, been open for about five years now, um, pretty OG kind of brewery here in Cincinnati since the whole craft movement has kind of come back, so I was pretty bummed about that, still pretty bummed about it, it sucked, I love that place, it's awesome, um, you know, anybody that talked to me about coming to Cincinnati, that was always one of the places, if I got a blank slate, it's going to be a hole, but you're going to love it, it's, um, I mean, today's age, of uh, social media and um, marketing via social media, just um, I can get on my horse and talk. I mean, I think it's fucking awful that um, you got beers in Cincinnati, breweries in Cincinnati, medi making mediocre beers, um, but can releases, fuck, they can't, they can't keep the cans around because everybody wants them, and they're fucking mediocre at best. But hey. Everybody loves hazy IPA, so let's just make them ship them out as fast as we can, or we'll make some uh, double IPAs, bottle them, ship them out as fast as we can, tell everybody how great they are, um, and they're just mediocre at best. Um, Cincinnati loves mediocrity, I guess. Uh, me, maybe I'm just an asshole, but uh, yeah. It sucks. But, you know, in today's age, 
you make what's hot and you sell the shit out of it on Facebook you sell, the shit, sell the shit out of it on Instagram sell it up on Twitter next new thing next big thing I mean I have nothing against hazy IPAs I love hazy IPAs I've made a hazy IPA and it's better than the hazy IPAs I've had here that I bought that I spent 16 bucks for a four pack you know get off my horse so what I'm going to say is support your local did Blank Slate fail? I don't think they failed as much as the community failed them my opinion for what it matters alright guys I'm going to sign off so get in there and fucking sign up for SJ Poor Challenge Go out to your local spot and you really dig their beers, but you just don't drink a whole lot of them. Go fucking buy some beers. Buy some growlers. Buy some howlers. If they sell crowlers, buy some crowlers. But anyway, guys, support local. Before InBev buys everything. Alright, guys. Peace. Cheers.